Good morning, Dover. I'm Rock Rochette. And I'm Jenna Gallardi. And we're your new hosts. Today is the week of December 7th. Be sure to keep wearing your masks and stay safe. To begin this week's episode, here's Megan with food delivery updates. What's going on, Dover? It's me, Megan, and I have a reminder for you. So, as we know, the school is giving hybrid and remote students breakfast and lunches to get them through the days that they're not in school. So, I emailed Ms. Carol Jankowski to clarify more information, and here's what she said. She says, for the students that have total remote learning, meals are delivered by school bus on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Buses leave Dover Elementary School and Wendell Elementary School at 10 a.m. You must be at your bus stop to receive your meal. For the students that are have the hybrid method at the high school, meals are left outside the classrooms for students to take home. During regular scheduled school vacations, such as Christmas break, spring break, or even Thanksgiving break, no meals will be delivered. Monday holidays, such as like Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, meals are delivered on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Parents also have the option to pick up the meals at Dover Elementary School or Window Elementary School Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They must go to the kitchen door for pickup, and they must pick them up between 8.30 and 1 p.m. And that is all I have for you. If you need your meals, go get them. They're good. I've seen a few. Anyways, guys, that's all from me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Now back to Rocco and Jenna. Thanks, Megan, for the update. Up next is Charlize with College Acceptances and Updates. Congratulations to Melanie vasquez Ponce for getting accepted into Penn State. Also, make sure to bring any acceptance letters to the high school counseling office or email them to katherine.riley at doverschools.org so, you can, so your college acceptance can be featured next in the, in the Dover Daily. Thank you, Charlize, and congratulations to all of you on your acceptances. Now on to Jenna with scholarship access. Attention seniors who plan on applying to college or who have already applied. To access scholarships, you can find them on your Naviance account. Make sure to keep checking your Naviance account as new scholarships will be added. Make sure to keep checking for scholarship opportunities. Up next, we have Olivia. Thanks, guys. Hey, Dover. Today, I have a book recommendation for you. Many of you probably remember seeing the movie version of this book. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens is about a mean-spirited old man named Ebenezer Scrooge. When he arrives home one night, Scrooge receives a chilling visit from the ghost of his dead business partner. The ghost tells him that three spirits will visit him during the next three nights. After that, Scrooge goes on a journey with each of the spirits to visit Christmases of the past, the present, and the future. Hopefully you read this and see some of the things that the movie left out. Have a great day, Dover. Back to Rocco and Jenna for the rest of the Dover Daily. Thanks, Olivia. Next up, Thomas with diploma lettering information. Good morning, Dover. I'm Thomas Abella here to give you a final reminder for the seniors for the due date of the lettering for your diploma. The Google Form link will be in the YouTube description. Have a nice time. Thanks, Thomas. Make sure to get your diploma lettering done as soon as possible. Now giving information about the returning back to school survey, here's Gabe. This is a survey for parents that want to decide whether or not their kids can come to school next semester. We are entering the second semester and it is important for your parents to know that this, this has a deadline on December 4th, Friday. I hope this information helped a lot of people and stay safe, Dover. Make sure you get those surveys in. Thanks, Gabe, for the information. Here's Danielle with some remote picture day information. Hi, Dover. The school will be hosting School Picture Day for all remote students on Wednesday, December 9th. Students should sign up for a time slot even if they aren't ordering prints. It's taken for school IDs and identification purposes. The sign-up sheet for time slots is uploaded on the high school webpage along with an ordering info. If you have any further questions, you can contact the high school main office. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Here's Emma with a new job opportunity. Hi Dover, do you enjoy skiing and snowboarding, and would you like to share your passion for these sports with others? Well, Thunder Ridge is now hiring for their 2020 winter season. Apply online at www.thunderridgeski.com. Once you submit your application, they will contact you. Thanks for the information, Emma. Up next is Rocco with an inspiring story about a Dover alumni. Hi, I'm Rocco Shea. The inspiring story of John Curtin is so empowering. He was a Dover student like us. He enlisted to the military after high school, and while in Afghanistan, a horrible tragedy happened to him that left him with no legs. He never let it hold him back from being his best him. He is now a Paralympian for hockey, and he was featured on NBC. Watch the inspiring story of him with the link above. I highly recommend you check it out. Now on to Mr. Kozlowski's perspective on teaching during COVID. 
Good morning, Dover Schools. We all know that COVID has impacted our school life a lot. Here's what Mr. Kozlowski has to say about it. He says, my teaching experience this year has been interesting to say the least. The two biggest ways I've been impacted have been in terms of creativity and technology integration. One example of this is labs and demos. Labs and demonstrations are typically done in class in small groups. This year, we can't approach them the same way, so I've used online simulators and even live stream demos and lab work through Google Meet. It is not ideal, but it is the best we can do given the circumstances. I'm sure that as the year goes on, new challenges will present themselves, and we will have to come up with creative ways to deal with them. Thank you for checking in. And thank you, Mr. Kozlowski, for that message. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Austin and Kaz, for that information. I'm sure things can be difficult. Up next with a follow-up, here's Christian. Hello, Dover. My name is Christian Coggins here today to highlight a certain section of our school newsletter. I would like to congratulate Ms. Colacchio for being in our quarter one spotlight. A quote from our newsletter explaining the details is, quote, Ms. Colacchio was accepted into the Writer's Hotel, an online mini MFA program slash writer's workshop. She has written two novels. The first novel is about a superstore that exploits ghosts. Her second novel places Greek gods and some fictional ones in a modern-day setting for the ultimate battle between fate and free will. Ms. Colacchio is currently working on her third novel and was approached by multiple agents after sharing an excerpt in a virtual literary reading. End quote. Congratulations on hitting the spotlight, Ms. Colacchio, and best of luck with your novels. That's all for me, Dover. Now back to our host. Thanks, Christian, for the follow-up. Remember to stay safe and to keep wearing your masks. And on that note, have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful week, Dover. Dover.